Hello everyone. My name is Sabrina Liu. I am a solutions architect at Snowflake with professional services. OpenFlow is one of Snowflake's most recent products, which can greatly simplify data ingestion processes. This series of videos has been created to help you deploy your own OpenFlow infrastructure and projects. To begin with, we will be diving into several aspects in the infrastructure deployment, including access control, AWS cloud formation, runtime management, and later, cost monitoring. Thank you for joining me and my colleagues on this journey. Snowflake OpenFlow is a state-of-the-art integration service built on Apache NiFi. It allows data engineers to connect to any type of data source and destinations in a seamless manner to produce efficient data pipelines. This video is to demonstrate how to deploy OpenFlow with your own AWS cloud, aka bring your own cloud, aka BYOC, for existing Snowflake users. Before we start, it is required that the org admin user needs to accept OpenFlow Terms of Service. This needs to be done only once for each account. Let's get started. First, let's go to the SnowSite UI and perform a few configurations to set up the privileges required. Switch to the account admin row or any equivalent row with the grants required and run the listed SQL statements. For the demo purpose, we have created a database called OpenFlow and a schema also called OpenFlow within that database. After we choose the new database and schema, let's create an image repository also called OpenFlow. We need to create a new row called OpenFlow Admin dedicated to manage the OpenFlow deployment. We also need to give necessary grants to the OpenFlow Admin in order to access the newly created database, schema, and the image repository. Additionally, we need to add two other grants one called Create OpenFlow Data Plane Integration, and the other one called Create OpenFlow Runtime Integration. These grants are OpenFlow specific. For this demo, I am granting the OpenFlow admin role to the current user. In practice, you can grant this role to another user or role based on your organization's RBAC policy. I am also having secondary role enabled for convenience. You can also create additional roles with only the privilege to create runtimes within the existing deployment. Here we will create another role called Runtime Manager but you will need the privilege to create a data plane integration to create a deployment. Now you are ready to create your first deployment. Navigate to the Snowflake sidebar on the left, suspend the cursor over the data icon, and look for OpenFlow in the drop-down menu. It will bring you to the UI to launch your OpenFlow service. Please check out my next video for detailed steps to create a deployment. Mm -hmm. 